Today I am going to discuss with you about a trick for to calculate current from KVAR. It is a very easy way to find the current from KVAR. We know that capacitor bank's rate would be say in KVAR. Okay? And also we know that the capacitor bank would be always in three phase. So how to find the current from a three phase capacitor bank within a few seconds? So please don't skip this video. Suppose you have a capacitor bank rating of 10 kVAR. Okay, then if you need to find the current of this 10 kVAR, you just need to do uh, take this 10 from this 10 kVAR, then multiply this 10 with 1.4. That means your current rating for this specific capacitor bank is 14 ampere. How this 1.4 comes here that I will discuss. We know that the normal power equation is P is equal to root 3 Vi into cos theta. Okay. If your power is in kilowatt, we can use this equation. But for the capacitor bank, we say the power in KVAR. Then for the KVAR, the equation is root 3 into Vi. There is no need of cos theta for the capacitor bank KVAR equation. From this, we can take I. The I is equal to that is current is equal to KVAR by root 3 into V. Okay, here for the three phase, our voltage is 400 volt. So for the 10 kVAR, the current is, here the power is 10 kVAR. So 10 kVAR by root 3 into V. Okay. So here I just write this equation like this. Okay. And after that, I write this, it is, this kVAR means kilowatt. Okay. So I put 1000 for the kilo. Okay and 1000 watt by root 3 1.732 into 400 volt then this 10 is over here then when we take all these things together we will get 1.4 okay then 10 multiplied by 1.4 the answer is 14 ampere through this way we would get 1.4 i already said you Whenever you get a KVAR to find the current, you need to multiply the 10 and this 1.4. Suppose you have a capacitor bank of rating 20 KVAR, then you can simply multiply this 20 with 1.4, then you will get current of 28 ampere. And if your capacitor bank is 50 KVAR, then you will get an answer of 70 ampere. This trick will be very useful for the interviews. Okay, see, uh, now you got the current for the capacitor bank. So by getting this current, then you can size your breaker for the capacitor bank and also you can size your cables for the capacitor bank. It will be very useful and uh, you can save your time. You, you don't need to write all this equation for to find out the current. I hope you got my point. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe my channel and visit my channel. I already did plenty of videos like this. Thank you.